today we are looking at more paranormal games that will possess you. These games have been known to get you in contact with demons that can ruin your life. So don't you dare play these games, even though I'm about to tell you how to play them. Starting off this countdown, we have the corner game. For this game, you need four people. One person stands in each corner of the room with the lights off. They face towards the walls. You then count down from three, and then everybody turns clockwise towards another corner. You then count down again from three and rotate again. After you've completed a full rotation, one member of your group will disappear. Don't say anything though. If you're lucky, it won't be you. This friend was then taken to the spirit realm. To get them back, everyone has to say their name backwards three times and then turn on the lights. Your friend should then reappear. If they don't, I guess they're stuck in the spirit realm forever. Moving on to number nine, we have the bathtub game, also known as Daruma-san. Basically, this game involves summoning a creepy Japanese woman that will haunt you. So basically, you start by pouring yourself a nice hot bath. You then hop into the bath with the lights off, and I guess wear your clothes, unless you want this ghost demon to see you naked. Maybe that will scare her off. I don't know. Anyways, make sure you're facing the faucet and then close your eyes and repeat this out loud. Daruma-san fell down. Daruma-san fell down. Say it over and over again until she pops into your mind. You'll then see a Japanese woman standing in the bathtub with you. She will then fall down and hit her face on the faucet. Her right eye will pop out. Without you opening your eyes or turning on the lights, you have to get out of the tub and walk straight to your bed. However, the next day you will find that the ghost of this woman that died in the bathtub will now be haunting you. Everywhere you go, she will be right there. And though you might not never see her, you will always feel like someone is standing by you or watching you. Now, if you do end up seeing her, you have to yell, Kita, which is Japanese for I cut you loose. It helps if you swing your arms down in a chopping motion. That will apparently cut her loose from you and you will no longer be haunted. If not, you'll have her following you around and haunting you for the rest of your life. In our eighth spot, we have Charlie Charlie. A couple of years ago, this game was a huge internet sensation. People filmed themselves playing this game and claimed it worked. Now, it's pretty simple to play. All you need to do is get a piece of paper, draw a grid on it so that there are four different sections and write yes and no in the boxes. Then take two pencils and balance one on top of the other to form a cross. Start by saying, Charlie, Charlie, are you here? If he's there, the pencils will move and it should point to yes. Then you can start to ask him yes or no questions but you have to be careful because it's believed that Charlie is an evil demon from Mexico and he has sinister intentions. He will either kill you or possess you or possess you and then kill you. In our seventh spot today, we have the closet game. Now this game is literally marketed as a game that will summon demons into your own home. Now I don't know who hears that and then thinks, wow, sounds good, it's fun, let's play this game. But there are a few people out there that have done this. All you have to do is stand in your closet at night with an unlit match. Then out loud you have to say, show me the light or leave me in the darkness. Once you hear a faint whisper, you gotta light up that match. If you don't, you'll be dragged off into the darkness and probably die. Now, if you light the match in time, you're safe from the demon. But now, you have invited it to live in your closet, and you always have to shut the closet door every night before bed, or else he will come out to get you. And you can never look inside the closet without the light being turned on, or again, he will get you. Like, there's literally nothing positive about this game. Like, chances are the demon will get you. Coming in at number six, we have Candyman. If you've seen the film Candyman, then you probably already know how to play it. It's pretty much like Bloody Mary. You're in the bathroom in front of the mirror with the lights off. You then need to say Candyman's name five times. After doing so, you need to turn on the lights immediately or else the Candyman will get you and kill you in a very gruesome manner. And that's it. That's the game. Again, I don't know why someone would want to play this game. It's a matter of life and death. I guess people just like the adrenaline rush of finding the light fast enough before they die. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the thumb game. Now this game is based off of an old Japanese legend in which a woman gets murdered and dismembered by a serial killer. The police managed to locate all her chopped up body parts except for her left thumb. So for this game, you and three or more friends sit in a circle with a lit candle in the middle. Each person holds onto the thumb of the person sitting to his or her right. So everyone is grabbing everyone's left thumb. You then close your eyes and repeat this chant. 
Oh yeah, you be, oh yeah, you be, hear our voices. Oh yeah, you be, oh yeah, you be, grant our wish. Within moments, you will be transported to the scene of the murder. The object of the game is to then find this girl's thumb. However, you have to do so while holding on to your friend's thumb the entire time. Should you let go, they will be taken away to the spirit realm. At some point, you might feel a bony finger tapping on your shoulder, but whatever you do, do not look around. Doing so will get you killed. You have until the candle burns out to find the missing thumb, and then you'll return to your home. If you don't find the thumb, however, <laughs> you're SOL. Moving on to number four, we have One Man Hide and Seek. Ever wanted to play hide and seek but don't have any friends to play with? Well, no fear. You can now summon a demon and have them play hide and seek with you. All you gotta do is have a doll that the demon can possess. First, you have to rip out the stuffing of the doll and replace it with rice and one of your fingernails or a strand of hair. Then you have to sew it shut. Then you place the doll in a tub filled with water and turn the lights off. Fill your mouth with some salt water and then go back to the bathtub. The doll should be gone. You then have to wander around your house looking for the doll. You need to find her while still keeping the salty water in your mouth. I have no clue why, don't ask me, I didn't make up the game. Oh, and you have to find the doll in the dark. You can't use any light whatsoever. The game ends once you have found the doll and poured the salt water from your mouth on it. Once the doll is dry, you need to burn the doll, or else this demon doll will terrorize you and your home. Coming in at number three, we have Charlotte's Mirror. For this game, you get to contact a ghost of a seven year old girl named Charlotte. Charlotte died in the 15th century after her mom was burned alive at the stake for being a witch. So in order to contact her, you need to go into a dark room with a large mirror and a gift. Something Charlotte would like, maybe a toy. Anyways, you put the toy on the floor and you use the mirror to see Charlotte. So you point the mirror so you're looking at the reflection of the gift. If Charlotte likes the gift, she will reward you by answering any questions you have about the afterlife. But here's the thing, if she doesn't like your gift, you gotta run or else she's going to kill you. Also, whatever you do, do not bring candles. Her mom died from being burnt alive, so she does not like flames or fire. Okay, that's another sure way to piss her off. In our second spot, we have the binoculars game. Now this game was posted by a Reddit user who claimed he learned this game from a book that had been passed around his family generation to generation. According to the book, you play the game as so. First, you need to visit an empty house with your friend. From there, tie a piece of rope to the front door and tie the other end of the rope to your friend. Then write this message on a piece of paper. We welcome you, you shall not be harmed, and you slip it under the door. You then need to wait until 10.30 p.m., at which you split off from your friend and explore the dark home. You have to then repeat the phrase, come, come, come with me, we'll have lots of fun, come with me. Then return to your friend and put your ear to the door. If you hear knocking, that means he is on his way. So you need to run upstairs with a pair of binoculars and look out the window. You should then see a shadowy figure in the distance moving towards the house. From there, lock all the doors, but open a window and shout out, forgive for I am mistaken. You then close your eyes and open them again quickly. If the figure is no longer there, you're saved. If he's still coming, well, rest in peace to you both. I just don't understand why you need to tie your friend to the door. Like, are they a sacrifice or what? And in our number one spot today, we have the Hooded Man Ritual. For this game, you get to call on a ghost taxi cab with a hooded man behind the wheel. How fun. Basically, what you do is use an old rotary phone to call a specific number. And once you call this number and recite a certain phrase, which I will not tell you, a black taxi cab with a hooded man behind the wheel will show up at your location. You then have to enter the cab's back seat, lock the door, and go to sleep. Apparently, you'll fall asleep in 70 seconds. Then there's a huge list of things you have to follow and do. It's pretty complicated. But in the end, if you succeed, you'll make it home safely. But if the player stays in the cab until the hooded man reaches the end of his route, Let's just say it won't be good. Also, if you look directly into the hooded man's eyes, you'll die immediately, so that's fun. All right guys, that's all for today's video. If you wanna see part three, let me know in the comments below. Also make sure that you check out part one if you haven't already. With that being said, why don't you give this video a big thumbs up, comment something down below, and obviously subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see ya. Bye. 
So don't you dare play these game games. I almost said Connor game, imagine. <laughs> they didn't put my <laughs> Each person blah, blah, blah. <laughs>